Hey, people of God, I won't be before you long because I got some things I need to do. But if you're new to the channel, I just want to say welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I love you. Listen, God loves you. Jesus died for you. He wants to live in your heart and to do life with you. So do life with Jesus. If you don't know Jesus, just pray and ask him to enter into your heart because I know this life that we live is not easy. And I don't know anyone who would want to do it alone when he died for you, Jesus died for you, and and that allows you access to dominion and authority, okay? Uh, it's definitely better than living in the world. It's definitely better than trying to do life by yourself. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and get into this word, Father God, I pray that this word goes forth for who it is intended for. Father God, your words, my mouth. Holy Spirit, have your way. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So. If you haven't watched the previous video, go ahead and watch it. It is about suddenly and quickly. It is a word that's happening in this season. For those of you who have been seeking and righteously going before the Lord and, and your day, just know that this word is for you. Uh, it's not for everyone. So always take this word to prayer and seek confirmation in the Lord to speak to your heart. And for some of you, you may know immediately that this is for you. So as I've been studying and just pressing in, the Lord has been leading me to uh, not only suddenly, but an appointed time. It's just so important that his children are understanding that his timing um, is better than ours. And, and he's not bound by time and space or matter. But what I mean by that is there is an appointed time within our life realm that God has called things to come forth. Amen. So as I read, He's had me in Jeremiah. <laughs> this is this is interesting, but he's had me in Jeremiah, and I thank him for it. I give him all the glory. If you read chapter 8, verse 7, and this is talking about judgment, and this is talking about uh, Israel not adhering and paying attention to uh, God's nature and his character. Verse 8 of chapter, verse 7 of chapter 8, it reads, even the stork in the heavens knows her appointed times and the turtle dove, the swift and the swallow observe the time of their coming. But my people do not know the judgment of the Lord. So what that means is that nature adheres to God. They know when to go forth in seasons, right? Like hibernation season and, and when to go east and when to go north, right? They're in tune, they're in sync with the Lord, our heavenly father. So the one instruction I have for you is to be in sync, right? Continuously be in sync with the Lord. I mean like dancing, talking, walking to the beat of his drum, no longer doing the things that you want to do, but living under his ordinances and his commandments will allow you to see that what we're talking about uh, those who have been pressing in that the suddenly and the quickly and the appointed times are real and it's happening for a lot of his children right now. Okay, I know there's a lot of stuff going on in the world, but we're not here to talk about that right now. We're talking about what God is doing for his children, for his chosen. My God, hallelujah. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and take you to um, Genesis, right? I'm going to go back a little bit. <laughs> to uh, the book of Genesis chapter 18. Now this is where the promise of a son for Abraham was going to be spoken into his life. And uh, the Lord uh, went to Abraham and he told him, you know, you're going to, to have a son, you're gonna have a child. And they were like, you know, we're old in age and you know, how will this be? And at the end of the day, they had Isaac, right? Abraham and Sarah had Isaac. But in verse 13 of chapter 18, it reads, and the Lord said to Abraham, why does Sarah laugh saying, shall I surely bear a child since I am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the appointed time, I will return to you. Okay, as you continue to read, you'll be able to see that Sarah tried to deny it and whatnot. And then Isaac's name means laugh, right? The, because he, she laughed at the thought of her having a child in her old age. The Lord has appointed time. If you look at his nature and from the beginning of time to revelations, there is appointed times and sometimes we try to rush that 
situation. We try to rush what God is doing, whether it's ministry, whether it's marriage, whether it's finances, whether it's entrepreneurship, whether it's having a baby. We want to rush it, but we have to understand that God has an appointed time for everything. And if you go to the book of Ecclesiastes, you'll see there's a season and a time for everything. There is a season and a time for everything. So when we are in alignment with the kingdom, seeking righteousness, then we'll be able to see that, okay, you know what? Let me sit back. Why am I putting so much burden and stress on myself when I know that what God has spoken is going to come to pass when he said it's going to come and there's nothing I need to do about it besides what he's already told us to do in his word, amen? So I'm also gonna take you to... My God, he's had me in Luke also. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna make another video on that because it's, it's about kingdom marriages. Uh, an angel came to Zacharias when he was about to conceive John the Baptist with Elizabeth. In this scripture, I mean, in this uh, book, Luke chapter one, it also talks about an appointed time. We have to remember from the beginning of Genesis to the end of Revelation, it is about segments, I should say, like seasons of when things are going to happen. And I'm just trying to tell you that when we get in alignment with God, when we are in sync with God, then what we're waiting for won't seem like forever because we know that he's not bound by time. And what we should be doing in between is to worship and read and pray and share the gospel and share our testimonies and, be, and to be a witness, right? To live righteously and, and the list goes on, but, and, and not to make it sound like a chore, okay? Not to make it sound like a burden, but we are kingdom children, which means we have a responsibility to not look like the world, to not act like the world, okay? So when we look at Luke chapter one, the angel said, to Zacharias, behold, you will be mute and not able to speak until the day these things take place because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their own time. Amen. So as we read the scriptures, we have to realize and accept that being a child of God means being on his watch, so to speak, right? And understanding that things will be fulfilled in their own time. You don't want to rush something. You don't want to have love prematurely when it comes to marriages. You don't want to have um, a, a situation happen too early because you're not ready for it. Uh, and because it's not in alignment with what God has already spoken, right? Prophecy has to be fulfilled. What he has spoken will come to pass, but when we're trying to rush it, my God, when we're trying to maneuver or manipulate, you don't want to sway or shift the timing that God has called on your life. Wait on him. The appointed time will come. It will come. God is faithful to perform. So if we just press in and if we continue to do what he has already told us to do in his word, then we will be able to have a rest and a, a ease in our spirit, knowing that it will come to pass, it will be fulfilled, and the appointed time is the time that the Lord has set. Amen. I pray this word blesses you. Go ahead and share this video with like four or five people. And until next time, peace, love, and praise. I love y'all and God bless.